Okay, so we're going to do a video now on uh, retail price indices and index numbers and chain based index numbers and weighted index numbers. <coughs> so, hopefully, uh, this will uh, give you some ideas of what to do. First thing we do need to know though is some formulas. So, let's have a reminder about what the formulas are. So, the basic idea of an index number is to find the index number, we take the current price. We divide it by the base year price and then we times it by 100. If we want a chain base index number, then we take the current price, divide it by the previous year's price. times 100 and if we want a weighted index number then we're going to take the sum of the weightings times the index numbers or the mean index numbers and divide by the sum of the weightings. Now I'll go through an example of uh, using each of these formulas so that you can see how they work. But the basic idea of an index number is it is a number. So for example if you're given an index number um, say 107, then what this index number is telling you is that there's a 7% increase because it's over the 100 uh, compared to the base year. Now the base year could be 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 5 years ago, last year, um, but it's basically telling you that there's been a change, so a 7% increase compared to the base year. Now the index number was say equal to 82, then again it's a comparison to a base year somewhere in the past and this time it's less than 100 so it's showing that there's a decrease so this one would be an 18 percent decrease. So let's have a look at uh, some of the ideas. So here's an example question, so it's talking about some uh, raw materials and they want to work out the index numbers for 2004 and 2008 relative to 2000. So what they're telling you here is that this is the base year. So the are the price indices. So we think about the formula. So the formula was the index number equals the current price divided by the base year price times 100. So for 2004, the current price was £3.05, the base year price was £2.60, and we're going to times that by 100 to get the index number. So we have 5 divided by 2.6 times 100 equals, so 117.3. Wouldn't go much more accurate than that. And uh, quite often you just round to the nearest whole number to get a feel for what's going on, but I'm going to leave it at 117.3. Notice I don't put a percent sign, an index number is what it is, it's a number. And for 2008, we can see that uh, the current price was £3.41, the original base year price was £2.60, and we're going to times that by the 100 to get the index number. So 3.41 divided by 2.6 times 100 equals so 131.2 to one decimal place. So 131.2. Again, no percent sign, just a uh, index number. Now the question goes on to say that the raw materials cost in the base year of 2000 was 6,800. How much would it cost in the same amount of materials? 2004. So here's where we're going to actually use the index number to use a price. So we've got 6,800 and we're going to times that by the index number as a decimal. So we can see how the increase has changed. So the index number was 117. So as a decimal it's 1.17. So we've got 6,800 times 1.17. So 7,000 
956 pounds. So that's the basic concept of an index number uh, using the formula and finding out some index numbers. Uh, this one meaning there was a 17.3% increase and this one meaning that there was a 31.2% increase. Here I've just used the two decimal, uh, two decimal place figure. Um, I could have times by 1.173. Either of those answers would have been acceptable as long as I showed the method. So let's have a look at another example. So here we've got um, an example of um, chain base uh, index numbers. So we've got some membership um, values for a car club and we want to find out the chain base index numbers as the years move from 2006 to 2009. So the only difference here between the ordinary index number formula is the chain base. You use the previous year always as your base year. So for 2006, we're going to be using the current membership, 1591, divided by the previous year's membership, 1434, times that by 100, and that will give us our first index number. So 1591, divided by 1434, times 100, so 110.9. And for 2007, uh, it's going to be the current membership divided by the previous year's membership. Remember, chain base is always going in comparison to the previous year. So 1591 times 100. So we've got 1621, 1591 times 100. So 101.9. And for 2008, present membership 1437 divide by the previous year so 1621 times 100 so 1437 divide by 1621 equals times 100 equals so 88.6 and for 2009 present membership divide by previous membership times 100 so one four nine eight excuse me <coughs> divide by four three seven times one hundred. So one hundred and four point two. So those are the chain base index numbers for this club and we can see that uh, for 2006 and 2007 the numbers were above 100 so there was a slight increase in the membership uh, but for 2008 there was a number below 100 so there was a drop here uh, so it's a decrease in membership and in 2009 there was a increase in membership compared to the previous year because it's um, comparison to previous year in chain base index numbers. Uh, which year saw the biggest percentage change in membership? Um, well let's have a look. So 10% dropped to by 9, 101, yeah there's a big change there. Um, it's over 12, 11% drop. So there was 11% drop here. So 2007 to 2008. So which year saw the biggest percentage change in membership? Uh, 2008. Uh, there was an 11.4% decrease. That was the largest change. Okay, 10% increase, 1% increase, or 1.9% increase, 4% increase. This was an 11.4 decrease, so that was the biggest percentage change. Okay, so that's an example of chain base. And last example then, uh, we're going to have a look at a, at a weighted price index uh, for the materials. So we've got to look at the formula for weightings. So we have the weighted index is equal to the sum of the weightings times the index numbers uh, divided by the sum of the weightings. So the proportion here are the weightings for each of the categories and the index numbers are given. Uh, we might have to calculate those. Um, there could be a table given with two prices and we've got to calculate the index numbers themselves. But uh, in this particular example they've given them already. So our weighted index then is going to be the weighting times the index number and it's the sum of, so we've got to keep adding up each uh, portion, so we've got 10 times 136 plus 35 times 121 plus 25 times 95 and then it's divided by the sum of all the weightings 
Uh, well, these are in percentages, so they're likely to add up to 100, but we'll just check. 30, 40, 75, 80, 100, yeah. So, divide by 100. So, my calculator's then. Um, should follow uh, the bid mass principle, so we can just type it in as we see it. So 115 plus 10 times 136 plus 35 times 121 plus 25 times 95 equals, and then divide by 100 equals. So 114.2. Two. So that's our weighted index number. So what is the percentage change in the raw material price over these eight years? Well, it's an increase of 14.2%. And there's all your examples of uh, index numbers.